It's Christmas and the team's gift to me this year is to visit my favourite station of all time. It opened in 1907 but has gone through quite a bit of change since then. One of those changes being lifts to escalators. So that should mean there's some great disused spaces to go and have a look at. Today we're at Kentish Town! Right, okay, let's do it. In this week's episode. It's got an unusual arrangement, hasn't it? This has been three years in the making. So what we normally do on the tours is, uh, Siddy and I like to mix it up. Would you like to do the honours? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my giddy arm. He quite likes it apparently. Do you want to go in, Sid? Right, okay, get in here. <laughs> look! <laughs> oh, do you know, it's so nice to welcome you to Kentish Town. This is yeah. like childhood stuff for me. It's yeah. lovely things. Look, the map. So, whereabouts are we, guys? We are there. Oh, there, 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 there. <laughs> there. Yeah. Now, interestingly enough, I've not been to the station before, I think, or maybe I have. I've I not can't really remember it. First time. I've been yeah. through it once before. I once used it as a photo shoot for our school's team. Oh. Uh, as a typical station of this design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've never explored it. I've never got this the This is my manner, it. guys. Oh, I've so used nice. the station like so manner. many times. <laughs> yeah. Now, Tell us we, the history. Well, as we saw outside, it is a typical Leslie Green station. Opened in 1907 as part of the Charing Cross, Euston and Hampstead Railway or as we now know it as the Northern Line. And so it's got some Leslie Green features as we saw on the outside and when we get down to platform level it does have some beautiful tiles. Very Interesting excited. tiles. But there might be some more in the places that we're going to. But of course it used to have lifts, now has an escalator. Chris? Well, yeah, so, uh, what, 30s? Yeah, 1932. Uh, we uh, have the conversion of a lot of stations on the underground from lifts, slower, fewer people, to escalators, faster, much more continuous flow and greater capacity. And this is one of the stations where that happens. Mm. As ever, when you get escalators fitted, those lift shafts and the passageways get left behind, and that's where we get to take you. Uh, let's go and have a look. I'm so excited about this, seriously. Before we go though, and I know that you guys want to ask this question too, why is it your favourite station? Let me explain. Yay. Before we go, Alex, oh. I have your, one of your actual Christmas presents uh, from me and Helen. Is it really a... It is really a... Is it a... Okay, go for it. Right, we I feel, I feel we have to do this. <laughs> Oh, it's a swimming whistle. This has been three years in the making. Full carry on. And we <laughs> have vetoed this sound so many times we have it. Uh, I this mean, is absolutely amazing. In the autumn, we did lose Leslie Phillips. So I feel that in his honour, we need to have this a bit is beautiful. Of carry on. This is beautiful. But you ask why this is my yes. favourite station. I've got to take you down to the platforms to explain that. Okay. Shall we go? Absolutely. Let's do it. Lovely clock there. Lovely nice clock. Winder. Lovely clock. I've lost track of the number of times I've actually gone down the escalator here. Or First come up time here. for me. Incredible. Hello, oh, you're back again. <laughs> <laughs> this is just uh, a weird time. I'm so glad we've done this. And as always, guys, you always deliver the best Christmas presents because last year was Angel. Kentish Town, Kentish Do you know, Town. it's a really nice cheap yeah. present. The problem is the amount of wrapping paper. It gets a bit pricey on that. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Especially in the rain. <laughs> Deliver this on Amazon. It's great. And as I say, this is a station that's undergone quite a bit of refurb in the last 20, 30 years anyway. Yeah. But it still has real charm for me. Real charm. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Been hearing about the charms of Kentish Town. The story of it is beautiful. Right. Northbound, eh? Yeah. Now, one of the things I'm really loving here is uh, the tile bandings mm. yeah. over there look to have not been replaced. They're original. Yeah. This is all pastiche. So yeah. all below, this is all fresh Chocolate yeah, from the 90s. Cream, cream, cream. It's got to be said. It's, it's caramel. It's not it's very pastiche caramel. though, is it? It's, this is it's, new. Yeah, this is new and over the top. You've got quite a lot of variation in there. Yeah. So they're nicely made. Gorgeously done. Yeah. And then just above it, is the original. Yeah. Okay. But you've got to cast your minds back to when I was at university, we were talking 20 years ago, and the Northern Line had trains that were from 1959 and 1972, and all of them needed a guard. And I used to sit 
on this seat, right underneath this amazing bit of lettering, and wait for my first crush, who was a tube guard on the Northern Line. And I would sit here and wait for trains, probably half an hour of my life. And I would sit, and as the train came in, I would hope that an amazing looking person with lovely dark hair oh, yeah. would be waiting at the final carriage where the guard sits. Well, and I'd what wait. What would you do? What would you do? Did you speak I'd to him? I'd sit here nonchalantly with a newspaper, hoping that that was that person. And did you speak to him ever? Never. Absolutely oh. never. And it was a bit of unrequited love. And I, I always have to think to myself, what would have happened if? I'm flying! What? Alex, Alex! Sorry, I don't Alex. where was I? I don't, that's so weird. Anyway, that's why, and of course my grandparents used to live just up the road as well, so there were many, many reasons why I would come here. And they were so, so good to me when I was, when I was at university that my very first paycheck was spent entirely doing up their council flat. That's what I spent my first paycheck Aww. on. So Kentish Town has always been so sentimental to me and it's so nice for you all to be here to see yeah. it. And of course there must be so much behind locked doors. Yeah. Uh, well yes, not at this end so much, but I am guessing down at that Let's end by the original there. entrance. Let's, Let's do, do this. Let's do this. Nice jumpers everybody oh, by yeah. the way. Yeah, uh, available at the museum. Sure. United Colours of Museum 2022. <laughs> Mm. Now look, Chris mentioned it when he was coming down the escalator, the self-winding clock company. Kentish Town is full of gifts. Oh, you love clocks, gifts. don't you? We I do. Love a nice clock. And we've seen uh, we've seen some of these before. So Kennington oh, has yeah. them as well. Uh, remember that episode? Yep. And uh, they're just. I mean, this one's it's got a little bit of authentic uh, Northern Line dust on it. So yeah, it really does. But, it's nice, isn't it? Beautiful bronze casing, though. Yeah, gorgeous. Or is it copper? It looks copper. Uh, yeah. Clearly, I don't Beautiful. know my metals. <laughs> Lovely though, either I love way. I've got ironwork around it though to kind of hold it in place. That's mm. ornate as well. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's lovely. Cheers. Right. So, yeah. shall we? Mm -hmm. Onward, onward yeah. team, onward. Oh, you see, look, the, cue, the clues are all here. Look at Nixie. First of all, blobs of concrete on the wall before oh, the train yeah. comes. Uh, yeah, that's where they've buttered the tiles. Buttering? Oh, yeah. Bit of a wave to the driver. We have to do this, don't we? Because we have to recognise they've seen us, we've seen them. That's why we do it. So we're not just being charming. Nope. And then of course we've got this Nixie. Well it's got a telltale portal in, a, in the Leslie Green style. It does. As you can see. And so I, this is a good clue that what might lie beyond. It is, and I, I know you like your electrical stuff, Alex. Yes, I do. Union Steel Conduit. GEC, the General Electric Company. Mm. Amazing yeah. stuff. And of course, we've got, uh, uh, so as you say, this would have been an entry or an exit point to what would have been the lifts, presumably? Yep. yep. Well, it's got an unusual arrangement, hasn't it? <laughs> right, okay. All right. This is a very good episode. Um, so there's loads of stuff behind here. Thank you very much. That's all, right. That's uh, all right. Nice little cheeky look there. Um, it's a bit of an unusual arrangement, though, this station, isn't it? Because uh, we've got the platforms one above each other, um, and that's due to the width of the road, isn't it? So normally you'd have the lifts all on one level, but not here. And the reason we do, I just want to go over this again, because if you're new to this, the reason that the road width is important is because the tube tunnels generally run under roads, don't they? Because yeah. there's something called railing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Effectively, if it was under buildings, you'd have to pay for the use of the land beneath the building. That's right. right. So they used to put it in roads. And here, strangely, although it's a really important part of North London, the roads are quite thin. Yeah. It was really common on the central line, wasn't it? Um, so a lot of those central line stations are built like this with a double stack. Um, As we saw in our episodes of Notting Hill Gate and St Paul's. Now, I don't know about you, but when we were walking down the platform, I noticed something rather interesting that we walked past. There was a sign on one of the passageways that piqued my interest. Oh. Which would that be, Nick? Well, it was something that was saying emergency stairs. Oh, yes. So I think we should go and have a look at that. Let's do it. So there we're is... not going through here? No, not I think we should yet. go and see if we can find the other can end. Can you give me a quick this. flash? Just... No, OK, no, we'll do it later. <laughs> messing with the route, guys. We'll it's always asking me to flash. Do it later. Do, 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 do. Oh. I really wish... I really wish you had... Wish really... You hadn't started that. I'm afraid it is in the brain for a 
I'm like, no. So this was the bit I noticed. Law, they're our favourite, aren't they, emergency stairs? We love a stair. Because <laughs> mm. usually it means walking up and down them four or five, maybe six times a day on a oh, yes. London tour, doesn't Very it? Very nice. But you know, interestingly, this is what we're saying about the layout of the station, because you go down to the southbound. Mm -hmm. So the northbound is up here, but the southbound is basically underneath us. Yeah. So what we normally do on the tours is uh, Sidney and I like to mix it up uh, and the group may descend the stairwell and ascend the escalator or vice versa just so the tour group get as much exposure to the station as possible. Yep, and that it's not as hard to walk. <laughs> and that's <laughs> yeah. of course it's Old, Old Witch or Clapham well, where the, 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 you can only use the stairs. Tiring, yeah. <laughs> well, should we have a look then? Yeah, yes. let's. So look, that is the southbound down there. Ooh, northbound is where we've just come from. Yeah. And that is towards the emergency stairs. You've got all these lovely cartouches. Law, yeah. you've got gorgeous tiles. Oof, look at that. So this <laughs> is <laughs> 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 the chocolate. And this is the caramel. There you go. That, uh, do you know what? Not only have they not colour matched it, they've just gone past this. <laughs> <They're>, uh, <laughs> oh, that's not even, that's <laughs> flat. <laughs> That ah. one's so that. This is totally the tiles completely. Oh, this is hilarious. Oh, look at the. Oh, anyway, look at the look round here. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, and look, of course, um, we know uh, thanks to uh, thanks to Jeff Marshall, that means it's 15 stories, right? Of course it is. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> of course it is. So, of course, carrying on down here, you've got. Uh, and I just love this. The further we go down is towards the hallowed stairs. What a weird layout. It is yeah. very strange. Oh. Also, we had a question about these, didn't we? We did. Mm. Go on then, Chris. Question and answer. Well, the question, if I remember it correctly, was why do we have the mirrors? Is it to be able to see around the corners? And the answer is yes. Yeah. It means that you don't get somebody working around the corner. Like Alex. You can't say it exactly. You want to know if you're about to encounter Alex, right? Oh, Absolutely. yeah. It's a big oh, troll. These are very helpful. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm running, you go into like an underpass and there'll be those on the corner. And so you know if there's a bike coming round and you won't have a... Can you imagine though, if you got some of these for your house and then hung them the wrong way up, you could make beautiful uplighters for your house. Do you know where you got that idea from? <laughs> if, if, you, if you go to... You got the idea from the museum canteen, which we've done exactly that. Yeah. Yeah. I knew I'd seen it some yes. It's so cool. So cool. Yeah, yeah. It's so cool. Now, I thought you were going to say it could be a giant bauble, to be fair. Or, uh, a, or a hubcap for a it's truck. It's Christmas, we could do this. But of course, fix your eyes at this corridor, guys, mm -hmm. because there are portals, there are cartouches, what do we think this was? Well, I think it's a rather <laughs> obvious one, Mr. Brunton. Here we have the entrances into the loops. Isn't it fantastic, though? And it all hides in plain sight. If you ever came to this station and just used the escalators, you would never spot yeah. this. Yeah. So I was going to say, what, what part of the passenger flow is this? Would anyone Emergency the stairs. So nobody's really... Well, now the it's only no, for yeah. emergency That's stairs. It. Yeah. Um, but obviously this would have been, you know, one of the main, main thoroughfares originally Once to access the lift. Yeah. 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 It's quite clever that they've filled in the portals with tiles, because of course they, they would not have had tiles originally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They would have been empty. So, what's behind those doors? Well, that's a CER, so we can't uh, go in there. Which we know so means... Equipment, yes, equipment room, yeah, I got yeah. that. <laughs> and the but control equipment room. Where can we go? Well, I would suggest uh. it's that. Okay, so I, I've taken a look at the, the plans, right. so uh, I, there are a couple of ways we can go in, right. uh, but I think the best one is round the corner. Okay. Again, not seen it myself, <laughs> but I know the route. You're supposed to evacuate in an orderly manner. <laughs> <laughs> After a good night. I don't know if Alex has ever <laughs> behaved or I orderly on Christmas Day. This, this, this is an old iron door. It's so sturdy though, it's slightly reminiscent of, do you remember Brompton Road? Mm. Yes. The armoury Yeah. Uh, that had the warning about having ammunition on the door. The same position, basically. Yeah, it is. Um, so I don't think that was for an armoury, but that is but quite a sturdy door, isn't it? Do you, do you reckon a... you can open that? Yeah, have off? you got the key? Let's see if Let's we find out. it. This is like Christmas Day around my family house. It's like you wait hours for the presents. It's like, come on, let's do this. Now you've got padlocked doors around your house. <laughs> yeah, I need the answer to that my bedroom. Because it's not, not one of the ones that were... Uh, Issued with that. Yes. Oh, well. So we don't get that one. So, oh. To be honest, with, with this location, I would imagine it's maybe a sump 
or something I like that. I would have thought so, yeah. Was well, that door there? Well, uh, yes, that's the one we're going to be using. But, just, okay. Sorry, just find this. Spiral staircase, something here. Okay. Well uh, do you done. <laughs> so. Oh, here is our place of interest. Have you got a key for this one? I do, right here. Well, um, but, you know when we're at Archway and I made you eat your main course first? He does this all the time. I bet if we look, we're going to see the same lining rings. Yeah, we already spotted some. <laughs> U-E-R-C-L. There you go. So, so we've got some of those. Ordinarily, you would see U-E-R-L, but as we discovered with Archway, there's a variant with a C for company in it as well, and thanks to all those people who Wikipedia does. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you. And um, now you've got a key. Uh, uh, is, is it Christmas Day? Can we? Uh, yes. Can we? Let's do it. We're going to need torches, of course, as well. I have one here. So, have you? Uh, shall we? Take shall we? The, take, the, take a beefy one. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness, go. that's very bright. And, uh, and I've also got that. Excellent. And we'll get the, uh, the beans. We'll get the sun out. Oh. Right. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, can I push the switch on? <laughs> can I turn the switch on? Be rude, not to. Be careful. Can find it. Fall over. Oh my giddy arm! Oh, he quite likes it apparently. Do you want to go in, Sid? Right. I can get in here. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh. This is right. the original tiles. Look at it. They are. There we go. A bit more light. Oh my word. So that's where we were just earlier, that's the platform? Yeah, up there. Shut. I think I've shot that, yeah. <laughs> Quick, so look, these are the original. Look at them, there's all the crazing that you always talk about, Chris, the little cracks yep. on the oh. tiles. Look at it. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, that looks beautiful. So I just get so hugely excited by this, but this is absolutely wonderful. This so is... we're now behind the door that we were yeah. originally on. Off the yeah, platform. that's it. That was that one just there. Back. Sorry, you, you didn't leave your eyes. Did you, Alex? I didn't get you, did I? Do you know what? I'm so like... sorry. I thought I was deliberately missing you. I feel like I'm on stage. <laughs> um, the, you know, the amazing thing about this is the pastiche tiles are a very similar colour to the originals, aren't they? Mm. They've done a really bad. good job. They're really not bad. Um, remember correctly, Sidney, yeah. this place was one of the many that was used for sheltering in the Second World War. Correct. Uh, so we may just do well to keep our eyes open for anything more like. time-ish that may have survived, paint more, or more cartouches, fittings. Well, I did actually spot something outside, but did I didn't you? really think much of it. But now that you say it, oh, so we've got a vent shaft here. Ah, right. Now, so archway. We touched on one of these. We saw it very briefly. I don't think we particularly ex explained mm. it particularly much. But this, where you see these curved brickworks, like we saw at South Kensington on yeah. that episode, it's where you've got a ventilation fan installed. And it's just a very crude way of creating some big ductwork. And actually, do you remember King's Cross? Yeah. When we went into yeah. that dust In the, on the bowl, Piccadilly line. on the Piccadilly line. Yes. That had one of those. Oh, that's the thing. I was trying to remember when we did the episode where it was because we only showed on Patreon as that yes. bit. So, uh, yeah, I was struggling on that. But I am thinking, do you see the door? Mm. Yeah. You know, we're talking about the wartime stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. an odd place to have a door, right? And again, it's kind of loose brickwork. Temporary. So, but, the, yeah. but then over there, you see that, that it looks like there was a, a, oh, a partition of some there was, sort. There was a, dividing line just down mm -hmm. there, wasn't there? Joe, this is fascinating though, because this would have been, when the station first opened, this would have been either the entry or the exit to the lifts, wouldn't it? So it would yeah. have been a public uh, this, thoroughfare, yeah. which became something else. Now it's ventilation. And as it's, with so many parts of the tube, the corridors get shut and they take a turn into basically airways. And, mm -hmm. and again, like Archway, you know, a station Probably that's got blinding. abandoned bits by the early 30s. Yeah. Prime real estate for the very least staff wartime accommodation, uh, like Shepherd's Bush, or maybe public accommodation. It is remarkable as well how preserved the tiles are. I mean, yeah. there, some are missing, obviously, but look, I mean, they are in good nick. Yeah, they, really they don't are. really need to clean, do they? No, they're good. I, I, Double your job today. I know. You're bring Good job ones. because I forgot to bring them on this <laughs> just as well. But I'm amazed by out here, you know, Sids and guys. This is just so lovely that a chunk of this is just hidden behind a grill door. Yeah, I think it's absolutely remarkable. Do you know, I have to say, I'm quite struck by how clean all this is. Mm. It's not as grubby as some stations, is it? Yeah, it is quite nice actually. It, well, it's not got the full air through, air flow going yeah. through it. Um, well, but I, 
I wonder if there's any more that we could see. Yeah, because I was just putting my little ear towards those bricks and it does sound like there's a big fan inside the lift shaft. It's worth checking it. We might not be able to get in if the fan's actually running, yeah. but we should go and have a check. Let's Something have a look. Like, let's do I feel it. like okay. there's more. Yeah. Mm. So, I think, given that we saw that brick ventilation modification just there, just that. in the ground, it's got to be here, right? You got a key for this? I would say I think so. so. Have you so, want me to... Oh, hang on a minute, I'll stand this side. My... Oh, I'll stand so this you side. don't get the dust on yeah. here, if there is any. Oh, she's so good at chemo. Oh, oh, look, can I? May I? There we go. Oh. Oh, oh it, Lord, small. there's another one. You definitely get to do the light switch. In so small. In all, all the light switches. Switch switch small but perfectly formed. Ooh. Oh. oh. There is a... <laughs> guys, from the sounds of it, be careful, by the way, there's yeah, a lot of knobs there. Yeah. yeah. And um, uh, you don't want to... I don't think door. you want to go through there. <laughs> so, uh, VP, of course, stands for... Ventilation, ventilation point. point. <laughs> uh, so, ventilation point 87. Lovely old doors, right? Very yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Really, really they lovely. They remind me of, hang on a minute, uh, indexing uh, High Park Corner. Yes. You know the one that I used, the set of doors that the I used on the Patreon door. page with fans written on it. And also Mornington Crescent, just a couple mm. of steps oh, down the line. He's got to Mornington right. Crescent yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, we're here, we're here. <laughs> but look, I mean, Wait, this is kind of confusing though. That door doesn't have a lock. No. So you presumably, <laughs> pull on it, Alex, come on, pull on it. I'm standing back. <laughs> All right. That door sucks. It, oh, oh it's got a giant fan. No. <laughs> <It's quite laughs> Come on, you can do it. Big pull. He's strong. Okay, thanks, Alex. There we go. Massive fan. Oh wow, that is Ooh, massive. You dust. really can feel. And that. there we go. Whoa. <laughs> That's quite a pull. That's why I'm it's quite a pull. There we Turn go. off the light. Turn well, that was lights. new. Lights um, out. Lights out. Well, Lord, um, it looks like there's two different doors. Uh, if I remember correctly, one of them had CER written on it, so we're not going in that no, one. Go zone. What about the other one? Well, I don't know, but if, if that one opens, then it's definitely a turn to do the light switch. Um, yes. Key. Would you like to do the yeah. honours? Why not? Keys and secrets. Oh. Oh. Hang Hello, on. it's and another. Two hand job. Sorry. Keep going, it's Christmas. Fanto <laughs> time. <laughs> it's cabaret. Some of these doors are just a two hand job. Oh, look at that. Hang on, I'm coming in. Ooh. Our fans are coming in with you. Here we go. Oh, look at this. It's not quite as violent on this side, is it? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, uh, I'm glad I brought the big torch. I've look! Just, I've just. Oh, look! there it is. What is it? What Make is it? What is tile. it? Yes! Oh, and it's a Simpson and Sons. So the... Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I'm getting shadow. There we go. Is That's as me? good as I can get. No, it was me. It's me. Amazing. Look at that. Fairly Amazing. Nice. So, Wait. that's really interesting. Uh, so, Simpsons did tile the platform area, didn't they? Yeah. So, so you were saying that there was a Wallacecroft one here as well, yeah, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, so is this a crossover station? Is it a hybrid? They used a bit of both. Let's see. There do seem to be kind of two slightly different variants mm. of tiles. You know, mm. like that at Euston, there's that different batch of tiles that they're almost the same, but they're not. So I wonder if that's the case. Yeah. Yeah, I, Those beans means, beans means, means <laughs> business is those glasses. I'm right on the end of my nose, but I'm loving this because we always, everywhere we go, we try and find one of these maker's tiles, don't we? And we're in the absolute best place to find them, which uh, they're often, but not always, in these areas near where the lifts were. It's warmer in here. Uh, and, look, like it. and hey, look, uh, I mean, aside from the enormous lift shaft that we're... Oh so my goodness. Have you seen this lovely, ornate finish? that somehow survived at yeah. the top. But look at this, Nixie. Can you bring your camera up here? <laughs> There's no mind that. It's the torch as well. Oh, look there we go. at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, can you fancy that photographs? Yeah, put the torch on So there's a room up here, but I mean, uh, it's says danger, so it's probably a signalling room or something. That is we should go at least up to it. Oh, my, oh, look at the sump down below. Look at the, the, how far down Ooh, that goes. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's, let's do that. Look down, look 
Uh, yeah, so you always have these sump areas in lifts, which were designed just to let all the water that drains into the station drain down to there where it could be pumped out. Yep. And they sometimes get filled in and modified, but uh, they're a useful extra half story if you're yeah. putting something new in. And, or at Angel Station, you might find an ink well in there. Uh, yes, and yes. A, a pond. Yeah, <laughs> and a pond. Now, um, I just noticed there are lights here. So, Laura, there's a light yep, switch I can see. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lights, cameras. Good shout. Oh. oh, yeah, she nice. knows. It's, it's helps, but doesn't ruin the atmosphere. This is the only thing about having high blood pressure. When you look up for a long time, you get a bit dizzy. But look at that. That is. Oh, and also, see, there's the other side of the. Oh, yeah, the more tiles. tiles. So Laura's behind me. Look just down there, Nixie, where the torches are shining. There's more tiles. So that would have been either the entrance or the exit to the lifts, which are in the shaft. Well, we're in the shaft that we're standing in. Yeah. Maybe be more makers tiles down there, kiddos. It's it's incredible to see just how much uh, this space gets reused, isn't it? I mean, even if it is only to store, uh, you know, your your Greg's lunch remains, yeah. just uh, just um, over there. So, it, can I ask, how much would somebody have to give you for you to climb this ladder? I wouldn't do it. Uh, Nothing. I, I mean, even if you were prepared to, I wouldn't let any of you do that because. Um, I mean, no. Obviously, I wouldn't. <laughs> this is that, that's, right? that's terrifying. I, I would say that that ladder is what's known as extent. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> nowhere anymore. But you look at this. What a great spot. Would be yeah. Tricky. Amazing spot, though. I have to say, well done. I mean, of all the doors, I'm pleased I got this one. You did, yeah. baby. You, you did well. So, so here we have an S E R. So, uh, Siddy, can you do me yeah. a favour, just shine your torch right up the top there. Lovely. And just to say, okay, Siddy, SCR great. signal equipment room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that a khaki green colour at the top? Yeah, it is rather, right, isn't it? Is that quite unusual? Uh, yeah. I haven't seen it before. I don't think I have. There's also seemingly like a concrete plug up there. Yeah, so what I was, what I was doing looking at that was thinking it reminds me a lot of Dan Street. Yeah and the, uh, the blast proof cap there that's designed to let uh, air get around the bottom layer and yeah. then past the top layer by having a sort of step in it. Right. Well, this is uh, very much off bounds for, for <laughs> us to go in. Well, that was rather fun, wasn't it? Do you reckon yes. there's anything else? I think uh, this is it. Do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, I think so. We have been rather spoiled, though, with all the... Uh, well, the and also, just first, in this yeah. right? Was it worth a look? That's 100%. Good. I mean, it was mostly worth it just to see where you sat for s apparently hours. Do you know, it's, it's so weird actually coming back here and telling you that story. There's something mildly embarrassing and cringe, but there's also something quite cute about oh, I think that's when cute. you're 19 or 20 trying to find yourself and you remember the things you did to do it. Yeah. There's something that makes me go, yeah, life's all right, actually. Mm. Do you know, I think we've all got our reasons, and I'm sure our fans have all got their reasons for how, why we fell in love with the Tube and its history and places like this. Mm. So uh, thanks for sharing your yeah. story. It was Absolute nice. Absolute pleasure. I've actually Absolute got, pleasure. I've got a station that I would like us to visit at Which some one? point, because I used to live by it, and just because it was around the time yeah. that I was 21, um, we should go to Elephant and Castle. Now that's yes. a treasure trove, isn't it? It is. That is a treasure it trove. Is. We'll see that in, yeah. in the, later Future in the series episode. in 2023, guys. One word, tiles. Yes, mm. quite right. This is the third Christmas of the Hidden I still can't Christmas. wrap my head around that. Better right. start planning for next year, eh? Absolutely. And it's, it's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas. Thanks for being my friend and wonderful colleague again. And thank you to you for watching. You know, it means the world to us, to, be, to our Patreons, for giving so generously to projects for the museum, and also to you, the viewer, all around the world. Whatever you're doing over this festive period, have yourself a great one. Laura, thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Just in case it's gone out of your head. That's her gift to you <laughs> this Christmas. Sorry. Mr. Nix, thank you so much. A Merry Christmas to you all as well, and to you. And thank you for some people who've sent us presents really unexpectedly. It's very, very good of you. And Sidney, how do we say nice landing, Merry Christmas? Glare the leg, y'all, and thank you for everything. Now then, if you'd like to get in touch with us, it's Alex Grundon, Chris Nick, City Holloway, Hidden London Law and at LT Museum on Instagram. Thanks for finding us on YouTube. You can like, subscribe and comment down below. And we will be back in 2023 
with a continuation of Series 6 of the Hidden London Hangouts. Thanks for everything this year. Wish you a very, very happy new year. Have yourself a great Christmas. Have yourself a great day and stay safe. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. And to our Welsh viewers, Nadoli Llawen. Oh, you would have cut you clear your throat there. <laughs> no, Feliz Navidad if we're doing that. <laughs> bon Noel.